Isaiah chapter 45 verse 7 through the Holy Scriptures and it reads I form the light and create darkness I make peace and I create evil I the Lord Yahweh thy power do all these things Shalom first and foremost like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim or Karkadash Double honors to the elders, apostles, a great millstone, Krishna's word, truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, Krishna's word, truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, Krishna's word, truthfully and sincerely. And this is another quick hit, sit down lesson. Uh, this news article that I'm about to bring out, that uh, in reference to the scripture that I just brought out. And you're going to see many of these similar situations, you know, in the last days. And this is a news article right here I just seen just a minute ago. So I was like, let me do a little quick sit down lesson on it. And this is from the uh, uh, Kaylee, Kaylee, uh, Kaylee J Time News dot com, I believe. And. This is a news article right here, and it highlights and it reads, uh, online video shows a girl fatally shooting cousin and herself. Police are still investigating the shooting, but initially described it as a murder-suicide. Two cousins were live screaming from a St. Louis apartment when one child fatally shot the other before killing herself in what family members said was a tragic incident. Police are still investigating uh, Friday's shooting of a 12-year-old uh, Paris Harvey and a 14-year-old Krom Harvey, but initially described it as a murder-suicide. The girl's grandmother, Susan Darson, told the uh, St. Louis post the patch that she was the Instagram live screen the two cousins were making together at downtown St. Louis apartment the family and rented to celebrate March birthdays it said it, it wasn't a situation where they were arguing or anything like that said Dawson who is from the Dallas area. They are preparing uh, with the gun. They were playing with the gun when they shouldn't have been. Of course, they shouldn't have been doing it. I think it just went off. It went off by mistake. So yeah, man, you know, I wasn't gonna get all into that uh, news article. I wasn't gonna read all of it. You know, this is a prime example of the book of Isaiah 45 and verse 7, you know. You know, you have that power, you know, he formed the light, you know, he created peace, and he created darkness, and he created evil. You know, you have that power, he do all these things. And these similar situations like this, of that article that I just brought out and I just read, you know. And it's gonna uh, increase of uh, more more and more similar uh, situations going to be like this is going to increase in the last days, you know. And I'll bring out another scripture as well, too. Ecclesiastics. You know, you have that power. He does all these things. You know, he creates the, the light and darkness. He makes peace. He creates evil. You know, it's going to increase in the last days. Because like the scripture says in the book of Second Timothy 3 and 1, I roughly paraphrase that scripture. In the last days, perilous times should come. And we are in those stages of uh, living in perilous times. And it's going to increase in the last days. Now, you know, like I mentioned before, even though we are so used and accustomed to these things on a regular basis, that's happening. But it's going to increase in the last days. There's be more perilous, dangerous times that we are currently living in, you know in these modern day times especially you know this is the year of uh, 2022 of Yahweh Bashim is uh, turning up just like our beloved uh, Elder Apostle Tahar 
you know, made that statement in the year January the 1st of uh, 2022. Once he made that statement of uh, Yahweh Bashim al turning up, that's all he's been seeing and judgment and biblical prophecies, events throughout the whole world, you know, from January all the way until now. It's just only going to further increase in these last days, you know. And this is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 39, verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, even if it's an accident or not. As I believe that was the mother that was saying it was just a mistake. It was just an accident that it went off, that they shouldn't have been playing with the gun. But it's still going to be spirits that are created for vengeance, you know. And I'm going to read it again for uh, edification's sake, for the sit-down lesson. Ecclesiastes 39 verse 28 and it reads there are be spirits that are created for vengeance and in their fury lay on sore scrokes and the time of destruction that they pour out they force and appease the wrath of them that made it so hey you know these uh, spirits are created for vengeance you know made by Yahweh Bashem al you know because you have Bashim al you know, he's he's the control of all everything, you know. The angels, the left hand side and the right hand side, you know. Spiritually Satan, spiritually Satan in the flesh, you know, he created, just like in the book of Isaiah 45 and 7, he created the light, you know, he created peace, he created darkness, and he created evil, you know. Yahweh Nai Power, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, you know, he, do, he does all these things, you know. So, yeah, you're going to see more uh, spirits that are created for vengeance. And it's just only going to increase in the last days because these are, you know, serious, perilous times that we are living in, you know. And there's going to be more spirits that are created for vengeance, you know. And there's going to be more of these things of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai does these things you know so with that you know i just wanted to bring out this little quick sit down lesson on this uh march the 27 2022 uh 12 50 p.m on this uh sunday afternoon so i hope this was edifying the spirit power grace and, i mean salaki I hope this uh, sit-down lesson was edifying through spirit, power, uh, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahweh And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, or Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, a great millstone, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, uh, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shalom and the ball, ball.